dengue shock syndrome when there is pain abdomen blood loss history profuse vomiting and restlessness it is dengue hemorrhagic fever but when it is accompanied by the cardiac symptoms the cold extremities hypotension tachycardia kidney injury oliguria and capillary leakage and fluid loss in third spaces is known as dengue shock syndrome so these are more serious forms of the dengue infection the classical dengue fever is having only 1% mortality and it is self limiting disease but when the dengue is progressed to the dengue hemorrhagic fever it is having 2 to 5% mortality in treated cases but when left untreated it is having more than 50% mortality and the dengue shock syndrome is having more than 40% mortality in treated cases also these two diseases the dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome need closed observation of the patient and fluid management as well as the transfusion of blood transfusion of platelets and transfusion of plasma is required the diagnosis diagnosis of dengue the isolation of virus the isolation of virus from the autopsy samples from serum plasma serum plasma and autopsy samples and csf first 5 days of the appearance of first symptom the dengue is having incubation period of 5 to 15 days one but when we narrow this duration it is about 5 to 8 or 9 days so virus is isolated during first 5 days of the dengue fever the demonstration of fourfold of four fold or greater in reciprocal igg immunoglobulin g and igm antibodies demonstration of four fold or greater in reciprocal IgG and IgM antibodies the demonstration of dengue virus antigen the demonstration of dengue virus antigen 
using immunohistochemistry or immunofluorescent uh, the demonstration of dengue virus antigen using immunohistochemistry or immunofluorescence or it is also demonstrated by the enzyme immunoassay EIA enzyme immunoassay so demonstration of dengue virus antigen using immunohistochemistry immunofluorescence or the enzyme immunoassay the viral other is the viral genomic isolation isolation of the viral genome segment genomic segment isolation using the polymerase chain reaction PCR PCR, PCR is used for the segmental genomic isolation. The dengue virus is single stranded non-segmental positive stranded RNA virus single stranded RNA virus. Besides all these investigations or diagnostic procedures, there are some other lab diagnostic criteria to support or to evidence the dengue virus or dengue fever. There may be some other blood counts or the electrolyte or biochemical investigations to demonstrate the virus or the antigen of the virus or to support the other manifestations of the fever in the body. These are the CBC, CBC complete blood count. The virus when the virus invade the bone marrow it depress or it inhibit the bone marrow precursor cells when the bone marrow precursor cells are inhibited or depressed by the dengue virus there may be thrombocytopenia cytopenia and the leukopenia leukopenia especially the neutropenia and the uh, thrombocytopenia may be as severe as less than 100 platelets per cubic millimeter or it may be 100 into 109 per liter when the platelet count is less than 10,000 there should be platelet replaced transfusion of platelets but when it is less than 50,000 and there is profuse bleeding platelet transfusion or thrombocytopenic transfusion should be considered Neutropenia is also a feature of the dengue fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever. 
there is the metabolites metabolites panel there should be the serum protein and albumin protein and serum albumin which is decreased in dengue fever liver panel DIC panel disseminated intravascular coagulopathy C panel when there is coagulopathy plasma transfusion should be considered so there is the DIC panel there is should be the hematocrites increased by 20 percent this increased hematocrit is seen especially in dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome due to leakage of plasma in third space or in extravascular spaces by the loss or fragility of the capillary walls and the increased permeability of the capillary endothelium the capillary is having a basement membrane and a single layer of flat cells known as endothelium so leakage of this endothelial layer and fragility will lead to blood escape out of the capillaries so there will be hypovolemia and increased hematocrit by 20% of its normal volume there is increase in increased aspartate amino transferase aspartate and alanine amino transferases it is related to the liver panel or liver function test and there is increased prothrombin time increased prothrombin time and increase in activated thromboplastin increased in prothrombin time and increased activated thromboplastin time prothromboplastin time so these are some basic findings in the support of dengue fever decreased fibrinogen there is decreased fibrinogen and increase in fibrin splitting products splitting products so these are the basic findings in case of dengue besides the demonstration of antibodies and antigens there is in cbc there is thrombocytopenia and leukopenia especially the neutropenia the metabolite panel should be considered the serum protein and serum albumin liver panel, DIC panel, hematocrit, 
the amount of hematocrit or volume of hematocrit is increased by 20% due to leakage of plasma and due to hypovolemia. Increased aspartate and alanine amino transferases. There is increased prothrombin time and increased activated prothrombin time, decreased fibrinogen and increased fibrin split products. Treatment of dengue fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever. Flute and electrolyte due to excessive loss of fluid or due to fever there is dehydration dehydration should be treated by giving the flu fluids and electrolytes there may be symptoms of the fluid loss either it may be tachycardia the prolonged capillary filling time, there may be hypovolemia, hypotension and the target of the skin is lost. There should be fluid and electrolyte, pressure agents. To increase the volume transfusion of blood and its products like the plasma, the platelets or the cells of the blood are transfused in case of deficiency of the leukocytes of the, or the platelets that is thrombocytes. Acetaminophen or paracetamol the dose of paracetamol if fever is not subsiding or fever is not lowered dose should be 20 milligram per kg per dose maximum 2.8 gram per day. Dose should not be more than 2.8 gram per day. This is the best antipyretic and analgesic in dengue fever. Remember the signs and symptoms of dengue fever may mimic with the yellow fever, influenza or malaria. But the typical maculopapular or maculoconfluent rashes on the flexure parts of the extremities and thorax and face are most likely seen in the dengue fever. The lovastatin in recent researches it has seen the, the, the statins especially lovastatin is having antipyretic action in case of dengue fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever. So this is the treatment part of the dengue fever.